Time for Coog's Review! Hey everyone, and welcome back to Get Coogan. My name is Mitch Cougar, and you know what time it is? It's time for Mitch's Movie of the Month. Now, I'm doing the month of November, and it is a little late, I apologize, but what's a couple of days to really nail your, sorry, my Movie of the Month choice for you, is what I mean. Now, I went and saw seven movies over the course of November. Jimmy, shh. And I have now ordered them into how, what I thought was my least favourite to most favourite film of the month. And also I believe it was indeed the best. Now, coming in seventh place is The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Now, I picked this one as last place because it just really wasn't interesting, um, you know compared to everything else on this list, it just didn't meet a high standard of storytelling. Um, the quality of movie was really good. The, the the graphics and the special effects were good. The cast was fantastic. The acting was, you know, adequate. But overall, it really wasn't what I was hoping it was going to be. There wasn't enough adventure and action for what the movie I thought was trying to sell to us, the audience. So that is why it's coming in at seventh place. Mm. Coming in at sixth is Pokemon the movie, The Power of Us. Um, if you watched my review, which I hope you did, you will know that I didn't enjoy this Pokemon movie because it didn't really feel like an appropriate Pokemon movie. Um, it just wasn't again, compelling in terms of storyline. I did say it was a good story, but not when it comes to a Pokemon movie. And I'm putting it above the Nutcracker because I love Pokemon. So that's really the only reason it's not at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything more to say on that movie because it it's probably not for everyone, especially my fans. So yeah, we'll move on. Uh, next up is Robin Hood. Uh, the reason I'm putting Robin Hood in fifth place is because it, I thought it was good. I really enjoyed Robin Hood. It's been copping a lot of flack from critics and reviews and stuff like that. But uh, like I said it, in my review, it delivered what it was supposed to deliver. And that was some action packed fun and, you know, a little bit of action here and there. So... I think it was hard done by, but there are better movies on my list, and that's why it's fallen just shy of top four. So yeah, Robin Hood comes in at fifth. Um, in fourth place, you're not gonna be happy with me, but I put Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, look, it didn't make top three for me because it really was just quite boring. I, I don't know how else to put it. It wasn't compelling or interesting it was long there was the storyline was dull it had nothing to do with beasts um, it was just a filler movie for the next one the the best actor in the film was Zoe Kravitz she was phenomenal I thought she was fantastic um, other than that I really just disliked everyone and I think Johnny Depp has gotten to a point where he ruins everything um, he's a pretty bad actor, in my opinion, and he overacted as he's become that kind of actor. So yeah, Fantastic Beasts was a really big letdown for me. I was really hyped and excited to go and see it, and yeah, overall it just was a bit eh. So that's fourth. So let's move on to our top three films of November. Coming in in third place was Boy Erased. Now. Boy Erased was obviously the film about a boy who went to a gay conversion camp or mission, I guess is what it's called. I don't know. And you know, that one kind of hits home with me, you know, being gay myself. It's, it was a really powerful film to watch and I encouraged all of you in my review of Boy Erased to, to see this film. You don't have to go and see it at the cinema, but to see this film and really see what it's like to be a gay person not feeling accepted you know being gay is hard it can be really hard and when you try to hide being gay because you don't think the world will accept you and to be outed in such a crass way 
and being forced to decide whether you should be gay. It's it's very, very powerful stuff. And it is third because I know it's not a movie that everyone will enjoy, but I think it's phenomenal, the story. And it really is up there for me for the top movies of the month. Um, so yeah. Uh, in second place, I'm giving it to The Grinch. And I'm giving it to The Grinch because it is the holiday season. We are, of course, in December now. And it really did stand up um, above a lot of the other films because it delivered what it needed to. It was very kid-friendly. It's G-rated. It's not overly mean, in my opinion, which is what the Jim Carrey's The Grinch delivered. But it is a cartoon. It is an animated film. So it needs to be kid-friendly. And, oh my God, don't people just take things so seriously these days? Like... The smallest thing makes people write letters and they get all uppity about stuff. So it, I think it was perfectly done. And that's why I'm, I've placed it second. Sorry, my head's a bit itchy. Um, it was well executed. It's a really, really appropriate way to describe the film. And I laughed a lot. I thought it was fun and adorable. So The Grinch for me comes second. But we are now at the finish. And here is my number one choice for movie of the month and it is without a doubt bohemian rhapsody phenomenal phenomenal i've had a lot of people over the past four weeks since i've seen the movie approach me and tell me how much they loved it as well it is iconic it really helps you figure out and see the world that freddie mercury grew up in with Queen, you know what I mean? Starting out in Queen and progressing his life and watching him change over because of his life in the band Queen. So the music was phenomenal. I wanted more, you know, which could be seen as a bad thing. Like, but for me, it was an uplifting thing. I wanted so much more because I was thoroughly enjoying it. I didn't leave the cinema going, oh, I want more from that. It was, I could have so much more if I was allowed to. But anyway, Bohemian Rhapsody was by far the best movie I saw all month. So go and see it as soon as possible. Alrighty. And December is looking like a fantastic month of movies. We know that it is our summer movie blockbuster month. And I tell you, it's going to be a tight race come December 31st when we bring in the new year. Alrighty. And Stay tuned because I may even do a movie of the year as well. Alrighty, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's time for Coog's Reviews!